And here we are. This is an occasion that truly speaks for itself. And we're almost quivering with excitement amid the palpable tension. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined by the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. And we're just moments away from kickoff now in the European Championship final. It's Denmark against England. Got goosebumps just thinking about kickoff time. You've got to control your nerves. Playing in a game like this, it's all about the nerves. Nerves can be your friend, but they can also destroy you. Keep them under control. A look then at the starting 11. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Simon Kerr plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. This is what they'll be facing today. Well, as a team, they do have their stylistic preference, and it really is all about trying to put the opposition under pressure, making sure that they don't compose themselves. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yeah, pretty much. They love to press high, don't they? It's their preferred style of play, winning the ball high up the pitch. It certainly benefits their strikers. They're very good at it. Kasper Dolberg. Space and time for the cross. Insufficient accuracy with the head early. Yeah, he got there as well. It was all about could he get it on target, but when you see how far he missed, wow. And space to cross it. Hey, Pierre. They could nudge in front, and a goal! The first of the contest! Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. Well, this is definitely worth another look. Superb interplay, so slick, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. He takes it on. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. No, it was close. It was a decent effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. Walker. And can they make one of these passes count? Calvin Phillips Sterling it needs an accurate cross making use of his physical strength to hang on to it Foden this could level it oh can you believe this just when it looked as though the door was locked it's been reopened well they're back in it and you can hear the relief with their fans game on well, as we see again here, this really is patient, accurate, incisive passing at its best. And because he's on his own, he collects himself and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper.
And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Opportunity missed. Played into the centre of the box. Kane. Can he convert? And the keeper more than equal to it. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Well, a fantastic final. And it's going to end in the most nerve-shredding way possible with a penalty shootout. Now it is all about the penalty shootout. And just like that, he's come up with the save. Well, you have to have strong hands as a goalkeeper, and look at that. Oh, he saved it! Well, the goalkeeper guessed, but he guessed the right way. Good save. And the penalty converted here. Well, that's hours of practice, Derek. Hours of practice. And he's denied them from the spot. Oh, it's lovely goalkeeping, really is. And he's beaten the keeper. No doubt. Head down, lovely strike. And straight down the middle. Well, he gambled on the keeper moving, and he did. He's gambled on direction and won. Well, he's got his angles right there. Just look at that for goalkeeping. And just like that, he's come up with the save. Well, you have to have strong hands as a goalkeeper, and look at that. It comes down to this, a goal, and they win the game. Oh, he saved it! Well, the goalkeeper guessed, but he guessed the right way. Good save. Such high levels of pressure. He must score to keep his side in it. And now it is truly final. One team in raptures, the other disconsolate. What an ending. Well, you can talk about the merits of penalty shootouts to decide big tournaments, big games. So much nerves of steel are needed. A little bit of a gamble here and there. Who's going to come out on top? But the end result is there for all to see. Well, they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment but for the losers. It's a case of trying to forget about everything that has just occurred. Well, just the point, Derek. Always be respectful of the losers. Yes, you're in raptures. You're celebrating with your mates always took time to go to the opposition and say, unlucky. The party has started. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, it's these moments, Derek, when you get your hands on the silverware and that little medal that goes round your neck might seem small now, but you'll look back at that, show your grandkids absolutely superb memories these players will have of this game. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Yeah, it's been a long goal road to get to this point. They're going to celebrate now and certainly celebrate long into the night, I think. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now... They savour the moment. And this is really special, getting to celebrate in front of your own fans, Lee. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place following their team. Now they get to join in the celebrations, go into the crowd and give them the cup. That's what I say. Well, then it might never find its way to the trophy cabinet, Lee. Well, all that hard work along the way in this tournament, 
all comes together at the end when you pick the trophy up. Just look at them celebrating. A brilliant moment. Hard work indeed, Lee. The trophy now in their possession.